I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. Ah! Oh! oh my gosh, this is so much worse than a bullet ant sting! It's a fair statement to say that I am no stranger to pain, as over the past two years, I have arguably taken more intentional bites, ah! chomps, pinches, ah! and stings than any other human being. Some people say that I am absolutely crazy, while others have labeled me as being admirably fearless. However, I describe myself as a passionate educator who has endured these wild experiments so that we can all learn about animals and ultimately take away from my discomfort a newfound respect for these oftentimes misunderstood creatures. So while I might be a little crazy, I certainly am not completely fearless and have made it very clear that there are only two creatures on this planet that make my skin crawl. The first, is infamously known as the toe biter. Scientifically, this alien looking creature is addressed as the giant water bug, and its bite, which is inflicted with a needle like rostrum, is unbelievably painful. Ah! Ah! Stop! Since we first featured one of these insects several years ago, the Coyote Pack has been requesting both a bite and aftermath episode. So I faced my fears, safely caught one of these giants and then in poetic fashion, let it latch on and bite my toe. Ugh. It was a pain that Ugh. I will never forget, a fear that I proudly conquered in the name of science and education. My second fear needs no elaborate introduction. You already know what it is. And yes, I will be bitten by the giant desert centipede. These voracious predators can occasionally be encountered when exploring the deserts of the Southwest. And whether you stumble upon one under the light of day as it disappears into a burrow, or you happen to bear witness to one as it hunts under the darkness of night, the reaction by most is usually the same. Screaming, running in the opposite direction, and then mentally navigating a thick cloud of disbelief for what your eyes had just seen. A giant, leg-covered, venomous fang-wielding terror that could only have materialized within one's most horrifying nightmare. However, this is no bad dream, and it's certainly no figment of your imagination. In fact, this animal is as real as it gets, and for me, the moment you have all been waiting for is closer than you think. Centipede! Oh, look at this! Where? Giant desert centipede right here, right on the other side where, of this right bush. Where? Wow, look at that! Hold on a second, let me try to bring it out here for you guys. Pick it up with this. Here. Oh no, no, it's moving. Here, give me that Tupperware container. Mario, get that container out of your bag. Here, use your hat, use your hat. Oh, it's not working. Get him? No, 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 it's so fast. I can't grab onto it. Ah! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I got a pin. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, out. Oh, oh, nice. Got it. Woo! That is a big centipede. <sighs> that will get your heart racing. The bite from this creature is one of the most painful here 
in the Southwest. And if there's one creature that gets my heart racing, it is the giant desert centipede. Wow, that is a big one too. You see that through the container there? That might be the biggest one I've seen. It very well may be. Wow, you're looking at a living nightmare right there. Look at that thing. That is creepy, man. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many people have requested me to get bitten by this creature. It's a lot. Mm. It's a lot of people have been wanting to know how bad the bite is from this thing. I can see as your gears grinding, it's got me a little nervous. Well, I'm definitely not gonna do it under the darkness of night. What I might be willing to do is sleep on it and maybe tomorrow under daylight, we consider it. But in the moment right now, I'm thinking, no, absolutely not. But I gotta admit, part of me is curious, but part of me is just incredibly fearful. You're shaking your head now. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, man. This, this is- Not a bite too a, far? Maybe a bite too far. Well, let's do this. We can certainly hold on to it overnight. Worst case scenario, we do another episode with it tomorrow. Just kind of look at it. It's anatomy under the light of day and we cross that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Okay, I can agree to that. Okay, well, let's hold on to it and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Woohoo! That's gonna top off the night right there. Great spot, dude. Man, that's crazy. When they say giant desert centipede, they aren't kidding. Look at the size of that myriapod. Wow. It's even more intimidating in the daylight than it is at night. Now, we caught this creature last night and I said, all right, let's hold on to it. Let me sleep on it. Let me think if I really want to be bitten by this creature. Here we are, seven o'clock in the morning. I think we all know what's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be bitten by the giant desert centipede so that I can explain to you just how painful the bite from this creature really is. Now, before we get into the bite, let's take a look at the anatomy of this creature because it's just, it's like the perfect design for everything that is creepy. Now, it is an arthropod, like all insects and arachnids, but technically, it's a myriapod, also related to millipedes. And when it comes to centipedes, the giant desert is the largest in the United States. Now, this is a creature that you don't often come across because they're strictly nocturnal. Now, it is so hard to sit behind this container and look at this creature. I mean, you can hear its little legs scratching on the inside of this capsule. Whoa! I mean, Mark, seriously, have you ever seen a creature that's more nightmarish than this? Nope, and I know this is something you've been not looking forward to. Well, people often want to know, is there anything that scares Coyote Peterson? I jump on alligators, I jump into swamps to catch snapping turtles, I handle black widows and golden orb weave spiders, but the centipede, ever since I was a kid, for some reason, just, just always been like, uh, I don't want to get near that thing, because it has so many legs, and each one of those legs has a little hook on it, so when they grab onto something, they grapple onto something, and when they bite, those fangs ratchet down and they hold on. So this is not necessarily a bite and run, this could be a bite and pull. Yes, uh, you know, when I've been stung by things in the past, I hold on to them with the entomology forceps. And when I do that, I let go, the insect usually falls right off of my arm. But in this instance, this myriapod is capable of holding on to me and inflicting more than one bite. All right, well. Let's do this at this point, because I know you guys want to get a slightly better look at it. I'm going to actually take it out of this plastic container so we can get a good look at its body segmentation and the little hooks on those feet. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. All right, I have to do that, I'm going to just gently, uh -oh. yeah. I gotta actually pin down its head to do this. Oh, jeez, look Man, how fast see it is. how fast it is? Now, Coyote, they, oh, I've heard this called the cheetah of the desert. Yes, that is because they are speedy and they are lethal. Let me see if I can actually You might need a bigger set of forceps. There's just no good way to go about this. Whoa. 
That was a committed grab if I've ever seen one. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh. What's each, going on? Is it biting you? No, but each one of these little leg segments is incredibly sharp. Look at that body. Wow, and it is incredibly rigid. The exoskeleton on this animal's rock solid. And each one of those little leg segments grapples onto you and it tries to pull itself down so that the fangs can bite. Now those fangs are actually called maxillipad and they are modified legs on... It's almost getting me right now. My goodness. Almost got me right there. That was close. Okay, I do not have as good a hold as I thought I did. I can actually see venom coming out of the maxillipad. Wow, look at those. Okay, that's a slightly better hold. It almost was capable of completely wrapping its body down and inflicting that bite sooner than we wanted it to. Wow, that is intimidating. Okay, not an easy animal to hold on to because it is so incredibly strong. All right, guys, I'm gonna place it back into the plastic container here. Take a minute to compose myself and then we're gonna head into the bite. You ready? Really gently, and there we go. Nice. Woo! Barely escaped a bite there. All right, guys, let me give you a little testimonial here. So as we know, I have taken many bites. Some of them non-venomous, some of them venomous, lots of stings, and the giant desert centipede is the one animal that I always thought to myself, you know what, I never want to be bitten by that creature. But I have the opportunity to do this, and I guess part of me is doing it for curiosity, part of me is doing it for science, and part of me is doing it to find out just how painful this bite really is. Now I've heard from several different sources that it could be more painful than a rattlesnake bite, not as painful as a Gila monster, which I've been bitten by, and some people say it's no more painful than a honeybee sting. So it's all about how my body reacts to the venom. Now it is gonna attack my red blood cells and I don't know what that will do. Uh, it could potentially rot a hole in my arm. It may just cause some localized swelling and pain and I may be just fine. Um, but I've kind of climbed the insect sting pain index and I feel when it comes to bites, this has gotta be the last one. Oh boy, this just became a reality. Wow, there it is, the giant desert centipede. And I'm about to be bitten by it. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container. And to do that, I'm gonna gently go in and pin it. Ready? Yep. That's creepy. There's the commitment. Okay, gotta hold on it. Man, those little legs are digging into me. Woo! Look at those fangs. My goodness, okay. Now, I do, as always, have an epinephrine pen. I'm just stating that for the record. And... I also have that. Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let today be the first time. Camera three rolling. GoPro is rolling, okay. Here we go, ready? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One, two, Right there, there's where the fangs went, and you see those puncture marks? Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Grab the pain. Ah! Immediately searing! Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting! Ah! 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 How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second! Oh my gosh! 
See where they went in right there. Ah! Double chomp. Ah! Could you even see that? It bit and like curled the skin up and then let go and bit a second time. Yeah. Uh. Oh wow. Uh. Is there blood coming to the surface? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. I gotta, okay. Know, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble. You gotta keep talking to me. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing. It is absolutely searing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't compose words right now, man. Uh, uh. I need some water, I need some water. Oh my gosh. Tell me where you feel the pain. Is it just like localized to the, the bite? It's going up my arm. It's going up my arm just like the venom of heel monster. Man, look at the welts that are forming on my arm. Ugh. Dude, we might need to use that venom extractor. This is... Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. Ah! I'm serious. Cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Ah! I'm rolling cameras. Yeah. I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Oh. Um, Mario here. Um, yeah. Can you turn on the satellite phone just in case? I'm gonna get this venom extractor out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, okay. Uh, uh. Tourniquet or no tourniquet? Uh, yeah, use the, give me, I just want to like it so it can, oh, I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. All right, Mar, you're gonna have to keep roll on this. We've got the GoPro going too. Okay. That is spreading, right? It is spreading, it is spreading. Now, we have never used a venom extractor before in an episode, guys, and uh, it is so painful right now, and given the isolation of, of where I was bitten. When I was bitten by a heel monster, my thumb, we couldn't use a venom extractor. I'm gonna try to see if we can't suck some of that venom out of my out of my forearm. Uh, the pain is so bad, I actually was almost in tears. I'm gonna try and to- cut camera for, ah! Uh, I'm gonna try to just get some of this off, so I don't wanna put venom back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually see the venom seeping out of the edge of my arm there. Look at the welt that is swelling. Now, if a centipede attacks a prey item- Yeah, I item, can feel it's swelling bad. Uh, okay, so there's, there's two sites. There's site one, site two. Do you know which was first? Uh, no, no, the one up front was the first one and then it tucked its head back and it bit again and actually you can see the black and blue mark there. I actually think that second spot injected more venom. Yep. So what you want to do is yeah, cut down I, on I that. I think I can get them all You may one. be able to get it all. Mario, you got a tight shot on that? Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, that's only making it hurt worse. Yeah, just uh, work. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You can actually see the venom coming up through the holes where the fangs when you can see that. See if you can zoom in on that. You gotta tell us if you feel like you gotta get out of here. We'll get you out of here. Okay, like the heel monster bite, it comes in waves of pain. Right now, I'm at a I'm gonna downtrend in the pain. Now, ah, ugh, ugh, waves of pain, guys. Ugh. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, I'm like, ah, 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 okay, I, ah. Gotta, I gotta put my camera down, hang on. Ah, ah. Here we go, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ah. and I'm gonna take it down. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, zoom in on that. Ah. You can definitely see the battle. Uh, oh my gosh, you could see the destruction in the arm right there. See how black and blue it's already turning? It is not, uh, it is not as bad as the Gila Monster. 
in the sense that the Gila monster sliced through my thumb and opened me up. But this absolutely eclipses any insect sting I have ever taken. It makes the bullet ant feel like a bee sting. It makes 30 bee stings to the face feel like putting on facial moisturizer. This is the most intense pain I have been in since the Gila monster. And in this moment, I am regretting being bitten by the giant desert centipede, guys. I do have this tourniquet on me just lightly placed. You don't ever want to place the tourniquet down too tightly because if you do, all you're doing is forcing your heart to beat faster and that venom to pump through your, through your system quicker. Now, okay, I'm going to wipe that back and we're going to put the extractor on a second time. Is it pens and needles pain? Or oh, pain? no, it is searing pain. It is someone has taken a hot poker and shoved it into my forearm. My arm is in a state of paralysis right now. I cannot move my hand at all. My arm is swollen taut. Uh, let's do a second extraction here. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This actually hurts really bad just One, to do this. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Ah! The venom extractor just puts so much isolated pain right in that area. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Is it subsiding? Now the venom from the giant desert centipede has a cocktail of potency and that cocktail is called cytolysis. And right now what's happening is that venom is attacking my red blood cells and it is breaking them apart. And that is the pain that I am feeling right now. And trust me when I say it is unbelievably intense. Wow. Let's take off the venom extractor. All right, to do that, I gotta turn this and just unlock it, right? Yep, yep. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. You definitely see there's some residual venom coming out of there. Okay. Let me get a shot of that with the GoPro. Man. That is a lot of venom, actually. Man, that is painful. It is easily as bad as I imagined. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just take the tourniquet off your arm. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Take that off. Take that off. Ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. There's you guys. Oh, man. First time we ever had to use the venom extractor. The venom seems to have stopped at about the area where we had the tourniquet, which is good. I do believe that the venom extractor helped. Right now, all I want to do is simply get out of the hot desert sun and into an air-conditioned environment. All I can say is this, guys. If you ever come across one of these mirror pods in the wild, simply admire it from a very safe distance. Do not try to catch it. Do not try to handle it because take my word for it. This pain is absolutely, unbelievably intense. You do not want to be bitten by this animal. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you ever have an encounter with a giant desert centipede in the wild, it's important to remember that these animals do their best to avoid humans, and interactions, let alone bites, are incredibly rare. As the hours pass by, my arm continued to throb, and the worst part of it all was that with every wave that rushed through my body, the pain was only intensifying. Several hours into the ordeal, I threw up the white flag and requested medical treatment for the bite. This was the first time that my mind and body were unable to endure the pain of a bite or a sting. It was truly that bad. All right, guys, well, it has been 30 hours since I was bitten by the giant desert centipede. Now that you've seen me go through this, hopefully you will truly take away a message that is you simply admire these things from a safe distance. I do not want to see pictures out there on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat of anybody handling one of these myriapods. Guys, I'm tough, right? We know that. I've got a high pain tolerance, but this 
put me over the edge. It is more pain than I have ever been in. You can see on my face, I am exhausted right now. I have not slept in 36 hours and it's a pain that I couldn't stop. That was the scariest part is when the pain was taking over my arm all the way up into my shoulder I couldn't stop it and it was only becoming worse. In all of my time filming episodes for the Brave Wilderness channel, I have not once gone to see a doctor after a bite or a sting. The giant desert centipede put me in urgent care. That's how serious it is. In the end, was facing my fear of being bitten by this nightmare of a creature worth it? Ah! Well, oh! at first as I rolled around on the ground in agonizing pain, I would have told you no. However, now that the pain is long gone and all that remains are the haunting memories, I would actually have to say that yes, it was worth it. Because together, we learned about the giant desert centipede and most importantly, how bad the bite really is. If you are ever unfortunate enough to be bitten by one of these animals, seek medical treatment immediately. As for me, I'm sure that some of you still think I am absolutely crazy, but at least I can now proudly say that what was once my fear of centipedes has now evolved into a newfound fascination and respect for one of the planet's creepiest creatures. If you missed the painfully entertaining conclusion to my climb up the insect sting pain index, make sure to go back and watch Stung by an Executioner Wasp. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure. Ah, you little devil. Ah, oh, the executioner lives up to its names. Oh my gosh. Uh.